Definitely, I've gone through my entire time on Earth fostering a specific hypothesis of the universe, and presently that hypothesis is being tested. I invite that since that is the way we push ahead, that is the way we gain ground in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is toppling quite a bit of what has been viewed as truth in cosmology for the past 100 years. Another profound picture shows that we have committed errors. The telescope, which should show us the main stars of the universe, is turning into a challenge to the established perspective and may present to us a totally different science. Not all specialists are unfortunate about the new realities. Numerous researchers invite the advancements since it has for some time been evident that something was the matter with our old models. The disparity in the estimation of the development pace of the universe alone ought to have shaken scientists' confidence a long time back. As opposed to interpreting the warnings accurately, they gripped to old speculations. The Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, considered the most established light known to mankind, was made close to 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe had cooled enough for electrons and protons to form stable hydrogen molecules. Analysts call this progress the recombination, which made the universe porous to light. The CMB was first found in 1964 by American physicists Arnold Penzias and Robert Wilson while they were chipping away at another kind of receiving wire technology. This discovery was for some time viewed as one of the most grounded bits of proof for the theory of how things came to be, earning Penzias and Wilson a Nobel Prize and a conspicuous spot in the history of astronomy. The CMB probably offers a depiction of the youthful universe with little temperature fluctuations, giving significant information about the conditions soon after the Big Bang. Researchers utilized the CMB as an imprint of the fundamental measurements of the material universe to gauge the expansion pace of the universe among other things. The cosmologist Edwin Hubble had already determined this in the late 1920s, finding that far-off galaxies recede from us in every direction and that their speed is relative to their distance. Today, these observations are known as Hubble's Law or the Hubble Constant. Hubble didn't have the advanced measuring techniques available many years later when the CMB was found, which led to a recalculated expansion rate substantially lower than Hubble's original figure. Later researchers calculated the rate again using type IA supernovae, standard candles providing stable light that could be used as reliable measuring points. Measurements within the CMB yielded an expansion rate of around 67 km per second per megaparsec, while measurements using supernovae yielded around 74 km per second per megaparsec. What does this difference in determining the expansion rate of the universe really tell us? Did you know that this disparity has been known since the 1990s? Since then, analysts have known or suspected that something may be off with the estimation of the CMB, the measurement techniques, or the concept of the universe's expansion. The disparity between the different measured values of the expansion rate is known in science as the Hubble tension. The ramifications of this tension are significant, suggesting that fundamental parts of our understanding of the universe may be defective. For quite a while, scientists were at a standstill. Since the James Webb Space Telescope went into service, it has provided researchers with remarkable data that may now shed light on the issue of the expansion rate of the universe. The JWST has uncovered galaxies so old and mature that their development should hypothetically precede the Big Bang, toppling old astronomy. Scientists no longer discuss disparities or measurement differences. They talk about the greatest crisis in modern cosmology. Besides the fact that the expansion rate could be incorrect, the entire concept of expansion or the Big Bang itself is being scrutinized. Webb's observations provide evidence of a universe entirely different from what we have long thought. The Hubble tension was the primary warning. Researchers who still believe in old models now face a problem. Do we not truly know anything about the universe? Numerous scientists stand on the remains of their consuming purpose, exploring space with confusion not understanding what they find. Considering the crisis in science, we should ask ourselves what we genuinely know about the universe. To answer this, we need to understand how science works. Hypothetical researchers use a complex web of mathematical models, observational data, and rational thinking to make determinations from the general to the specific. Their knowledge comes from a blend of observed phenomena, experimental results, and theoretical examinations. The term hypothesis alone indicates that these are speculations and ideas, not absolute truths. 
The only concrete data we have are the images telescopes provide, the sound waves and radiation caught with radio telescopes, and the latest information from neutrino observatories or gravitational wave detectors. With the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have an instrument that can analyze the oldest light into individual frequencies and examine it in unprecedented ways. Webb can show us the components in galaxies from billions of years ago, how much mass they contain, and the number of stars they have. It can also reconstruct the shape and direction of a universe's expansion. However, Webb also has limitations. For example, it cannot always determine with certainty whether we are seeing galaxies or black holes with enormous growth plates that shine as brightly as a galaxy. We must confront the fact that our science has long accepted too many possibilities as facts and dismissed alternative explanations. Research has long been confident in its models, but the latest discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope are crucial hints to replace hypotheses with new insights, as has happened frequently in science. Researchers are currently anticipating new discoveries that are too profound, and many scientists struggle to come up with new explanations. The new discoveries shake the foundations of our physics. Today's lessons in physics are still largely based on Isaac Newton's research from the 17th century. His laws of motion and gravity were the foundation of our physical understanding of the world and the universe for centuries. Newton's laws explain the movements of objects under normal conditions and work well on Earth. However, in space, his ideas required expansion, a task achieved by Albert Einstein at the beginning of the 20th century. Einstein's theory of relativity, published in 1905, changed our understanding of reality, showing that measurements are relative to one another and depend on the observer's motion. His general theory of relativity, published in 1915, extended this idea with mathematical proofs of gravitational phenomena based on the curvature of spacetime by masses like stars or galaxies. Einstein's theories and ideas were revolutionary, but he also knew their limits. He realized his theories could never fully describe the universe and longed for finding a world equation, which he did not achieve. No other physicist has succeeded in this task to date. Where is the flaw? Wouldn't it be fascinating to know? Mitaku, a famous astrophysicist from the USA, said in an interview that solving this issue would undoubtedly win a Nobel Prize. We need to investigate the fact. Researchers could have overlooked potential misinterpretations or whether our models are at fault. Dark matter and dark energy are at the top of the list of suspects for the root cause of the cosmological crisis. Our current models of the universe include concepts that dark matter and dark energy make up around 95% of the universe. However, neither has been directly observed, and their true nature has never been proven. They may not exist at all, requiring different explanations for the universe's expansion and the dynamics in galaxies, or they could have properties we do not yet understand. One thought is that the properties of dark matter and dark energy have changed over time, possibly indicating some form of insight. Gravity is another phenomenon to be tested. This force, apparently responsible for attraction through mass or curvature in spacetime, has not yet been proven. The ideas of spacetime curvature largely come from Einstein and have been confirmed many times. However, we cannot rule out the possibility that gravity has unexpected properties or that another effect causes the gravitational pull between objects over time. Some qualities have been established in cosmology and astronomy as constants. The study of the universe has always been a journey marked by our constant quest for understanding and discovery. From ancient civilizations observing the stars to advanced space telescopes probing the depths of the universe, every advancement in technology and theory has uncovered new secrets while challenging established beliefs. In the realm of cosmology, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as a beacon of our scientific progress poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution. Launched with remarkable capabilities, JWST represents a leap forward in observational astronomy, capable of peering further into the universe than ever before. One of JWST's primary goals is to study the cosmic microwave background, CMB, with greater precision. The CMB, often referred to as the flash of the Big Bang, provides a snapshot of the universe as it existed just 380,000 years after its birth. This relic radiation carries crucial information about the universe's early conditions, including its temperature fluctuations, 
which are essential for understanding the formation of galaxies and large-scale structures. The disparity in the measured values of the Hubble constant, known as the Hubble tension, has been a persistent issue in cosmology. While CMB measurements suggest a lower expansion rate of the universe, observations using type IA supernovae and other cosmological tests yield a higher value. This tension implies that our current models may be inadequate or that there are fundamental aspects of the universe's expansion dynamics that we have yet to grasp. Beyond the Hubble tension, JWST has the potential to shed light on other critical questions, such as the nature of dark matter and dark energy. These elusive components are thought to make up most of the universe's mass energy content, but their existence remains inferred indirectly through gravitational effects rather than directly observed. As we advance into this new era of astronomical discovery, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, not only refines our understanding of cosmic phenomena, but also reshapes the fundamental questions driving contemporary research. One significant area where JWST could make an impact is in the study of the formation and evolution of the earliest galaxies. Observations of these ancient structures offer insights into how galaxies assembled and evolved in the early universe providing clues about the conditions that led to the formation of large-scale structures we see today. One of the most intriguing aspects of these observations is the potential to detect the so-called first stars or population three stars. These stars are believed to have formed shortly after the Big Bang and played a crucial role in the reionization of the universe. Their formation and evolution could help explain the distribution of heavy elements throughout the cosmos, which are essential for the formation of planets and life as we know it. The JWST's ability to peer back in time with unprecedented clarity might reveal these elusive objects, potentially transforming our understanding of stellar evolution and chemical enrichment in the universe. Another fascinating area of research enabled by JWST is the exploration of exoplanets and their atmospheres. With its advanced instruments, JWST can analyze the composition of exoplanet atmospheres with high precision looking for signs of habitability or even biosignatures. This includes detecting gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are associated with biological processes on Earth. By examining the atmospheres of exoplanets in different stellar environments, scientists hope to assess the potential for life beyond our solar system and refine the criteria for identifying habitable worlds. In addition to exoplanet studies, JWST's capabilities extend to the search for potentially habitable moons orbiting distant exoplanets. Known as exomoons, these celestial bodies could offer environments where life might develop. The ability to detect such moons and study their properties would add another dimension to our search for extraterrestrial life and broaden our understanding of planetary systems. The JWST also plays a crucial role in understanding dark matter and dark energy which remains some of the greatest mysteries in cosmology. By observing the distribution of galaxies and the way their light is bent by gravitational lensing, scientists can infer the presence of dark matter, which does not emit or interact with light but exerts gravitational effects. These observations can help map the distribution of dark matter across the universe, providing clues about its nature and how it influences cosmic structure formation. Moreover, dark energy, which is thought to drive the accelerated expansion of the universe, remains poorly understood. The data from JWST may help to refine measurements of cosmic expansion and improve our understanding of the role of dark energy in the universe's evolution. By providing more accurate data on the expansion history and structure of the universe, JWST could help determine whether dark energy is a constant force or if its properties evolve over time. The study of high-energy astrophysics is another promising area where JWST's observations could have significant implications. This field focuses on understanding the most energetic and extreme phenomena in the universe, such as supernovae, gamma-ray bursts, and black holes. By observing these events in different wavelengths, JWST could provide new insights into their mechanisms and the role they play in cosmic evolution. Additionally, the study of cosmic reionization the process that made the universe transparent to ultraviolet light, is a key area of interest. Observing the earliest galaxies and their interactions with the surrounding medium can shed light on how reionization occurred and how it affected the formation of subsequent cosmic structures. Finally, JWST's contributions to fundamental physics could lead to new discoveries that challenge our current theories.
For example, it could provide insights into the nature of gravity at cosmic scales, potentially revealing deviations from Einstein's general theory of relativity or uncovering new physics beyond the standard model. This could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of the fundamental forces and particles that govern the universe. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope stands at the forefront of a new era in astronomy and cosmology. Its advanced capabilities promise to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, from the formation of the first galaxies to the detection of exoplanetary atmospheres. By addressing fundamental questions about dark matter, dark energy, and the nature of cosmic expansion, JWST has the potential to reshape our comprehension of the cosmos. As researchers continue to analyze its data, they may uncover new phenomena that challenge existing theories and lead to unprecedented discoveries. The ongoing exploration of the universe through JWST represents not just a leap forward in technology, but also a profound opportunity to deepen our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality.